Hello everyone, welcome back to Kim's Cozy Corner. One of the things that we said we needed to do in January was start onions. Hello everyone. It's January, you're at Kim's Cozy Corner, and I'm Kim, and we are going to start our onions for this upcoming season. Now, onions need a lot of time to grow if you're starting from seeds, and so this video is all about getting our onions up and going. I have several videos out there talking through all the different vegetables that I'll be growing this year and onions are in that video. Now, of course, I added another one or two, so I'll quickly go through the onions as I'm getting ready to plant them. But let's talk about some of the growth habits of onion before we get too deep in this. Now, you can grow your onions in a couple of different ways. One, you can just go straight to your garden, throw your seeds out there and let them go. Now, depending on where you live in the country, that might work, that might work for you. That doesn't work for me in zone 6A, Southwest Ohio. So for me in my zone, I have two options when it comes to growing onions. Either I start my seeds indoors in my indoor grow space and get them um, into, I think they're called sets. I've, I can't remember the name, where they're already green and they have two little buds on the bottom of them. And then I take those and I transplant those out into my garden in late March, early April. Or I can go to my seed store, my big box store, whatever, and I can buy the little onions that's already dried up there in little balls. And maybe those are the ones that are called sets. I can't keep them straight. But I'll put down here the two different types, the ones that you that are green and alive versus those that are little bulbs and are all dried out. Now, if you want to do that, you can do that. There's nothing wrong with that. But those I find do not bulb up very well and they try to go to seeds because onions are, I think the word is biannual. They grow bulbs one year and the next year they want to go to seed. But of course, we don't want that. We want the bulb in the bottom. So I like to start my plants from seed. And that's what this video is about. If you're looking for something else, I don't have a lot of information on it. I prefer not to use those other methods. This is the method that I'll be using in this video. So and and when I say they take a long time, if you start from seeds, um, like I'm looking on this seed pack here, it says start indoors eight to 12 weeks before planting them outside. And you can put them outside about a month before the last frost. So my last frost date is in May, end of April actually, but a lot of people like to wait until May, but typically it's the end of April, like April 25th, that last week. So if I start these now, and we are mid-January, I'll be right on time. So we're going to get these started. And I have quite a few seeds that I'm going to start. Now, you can start your seeds in a lot of different things. Some people use potting soil. Some people use compost. Some people use regular, you know, garden soil. I personally like to use a seed starting mix. Now you can make your own or you can buy it. Now this is an old bag, I believe Jiffy updated their bags, but this is a pitcher or this is one of the bags that I saved from last year. Now seed starting mix typically has no soil in it. So there's no soil life, but you don't need it. All the life you need is already in the seed when you're trying to get them to germinate. And then you add fertilizer or compost and that kind of stuff later after they've broken the ground and they're good to go. So I take my seed starting mix, I put it in a container like this, 
and I pour boiling hot water over my seed starting mix. And I do that to keep from having any type of bugs and fungus gnats and eggs and all that kind of stuff that's just lying dormant in that material. If you put it, if you boil the water and put it over here, it kills off any of those types of insects that you really don't want in your indoor grow space. So I do that first. And then I let it sit. And so I did that yesterday. So my soil is still nice and damp. It's moist. Now let me bring you in so you can see what's happening in this bend here. And once I do that, I like to fill my containers up so I have them ready to receive the seeds. And I've already done that for all of my onion seeds. I've decided what I want to grow how many cells of each I plan on growing. And I got my name tags in. You need to mark your plants. I always say label, 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 and I, I'm not going to take that away. You need to label your stuff so you're not getting mixed up. So I have a bunch that are already complete here. I'm turning them around so you can see them. I have my little labels in there. And then we're just going to put the seeds in. Now, I don't have to moisten my soil because it's already very moist. And we're going to just get these onions planted. And I'm going to bring you with me. So I'm going to get you in close so you can see my hands. You don't necessarily need to see my face. Now, I've already shared all the different seeds in my seed video that I'm growing this year. Now, I like sweet onions. I, I prefer sweet yellow onions, but I am growing some white onion this year. This is one I added to the party that I didn't say I was going to plant, but there it is. It's from David Seeds. I'm not holding my breath on these seeds, but we will get those put in. And I won't show you how I do all of these, but I'll make sure you get the idea of what I'm doing. Here's my container. I'm only doing one cell of this Sierra Blanco. One cell. Honestly, I'm just trying to see if the seed's gonna come up, to be honest with you. And onion seeds, they all look alike. So that's why you really, really need to label because until they start bulbing up, you don't know what you're gonna get but they look like these little black seeds right here. And I am, like I said, I'm only doing one sale. So I am going to get these seeds and I'm planting them close, very, very close because when they get outside, they are very easy to separate to get them into the garden. And then we're gonna mix them up. I thought I had too many in there. All right. And no matter how much I label, y'all, I still lost my labels last year. I don't know what happened. I had some stuff growing and I'm like, I don't see a label anywhere. I don't know if my girls moved it and didn't tell me, but that stuff just wasn't right. <laughs> so I put, I don't know, probably 20 seeds or more in this cell. And I'm going to just give it a light toss here. And your seed pack will tell you how deep you need to plant them. So I always tell people, follow the seed pack. And then I'm going to press it down just a little bit to just kind of hold them in place. And that Sierra Blanco is planted and ready to go. And I'm going to do the exact same thing with all of my onions. So I'm just going to get to it. I'll fast forward it. There's no reason for you to stay around while I'm getting these seeds in when I can find them anyway. I said I was planting all of these things, but now I can't find my seeds. Oh, they're right here. So white Spanish onion is the next one. And I did plant a year supply of onions this year. I haven't bought onion from my grocery store in a year. It's been, I think we're coming right on a year right now as we're speaking, which is the first time ever for me on onions. 
All right, so let me just quickly go through the different onions. So I did a white grano onion. I did a white Spanish. I did the Sierra Blanco, and I'm doing another white Spanish. So in this, in this one, these are all white onion that are going in this container here. Two white Spanish, um, Sierra Blanco, and a white grano. And then let me just share all of the seeds. And then I will bring you back once I have them all full. I will find pictures and put them up here of those three that we just talked about. Here's the yellow sweet Spanish. We were on that one. Yellow of Parma. Globo. Grand X. A red burgundy. This is a Spanish yellow as well, but it's a Utah jumbo. We're also doing Texas 1015s. Here's a picture of that. And we're going to do Walla Walla. And here's a picture of the Walla Walla. So those are all the onions that we're growing. And now let me get these planted and I will bring you back. Okay, I have all of the onions started. <clears throat> I came up a little short on my Walla Walla, so I'm gonna have to get those ordered and get them here quickly so I can plant some more of the Walla Walla. They did really well in my garden last year, so we need to get many of those started. But here are all the different varieties and the small space we'll be starting them in. Let's move them over now to the greenhouse. So here we are. Y'all, the 2024 season has begun. The onions are always the first thing that we put in the ground because it has the longest time to germinate before we put it into the garden. And here we are. We started three weeks later than we did last year, but I still believe we have more than enough time to get these to germinate and see if we have any bad, bad players here that don't germinate. We got time to replace them. All right, I am in the indoor growth space and I have my onion right here. So I want you to be able to see them. In this particular container, I had some peppers that were already growing. And just behind them are the two containers with the onion. Now these are set up and ready to go. We are gonna lower these lights to they're just above these containers. And then we're gonna sit back and we're gonna relax. Now, my soil is already moist, but when I need to water my soil, we will be watering from the bottom. So I would just put water in the bottom here and it would pull the, the water in from the bottom and it will wet the soil. But right now my soil is nice and dark. It doesn't need to be watered. So we are not gonna water it just yet. We're gonna let them go through that top layers drying out and then we will water. You don't want them soggy, right? I call them, you don't want soggy bottoms. So I will bring you along. You'll be able to see when I need to water and when they're starting to dry out. If you keep your soil too moist, that's when you get a ton of that fungus green growth on top of the soil and we don't want that so we're going to make sure we give it just the right amount of water you see i've lowered the lights to just above the height of these containers now you really don't need light until they break ground but I may not even be here when they break ground. And my lights are on timers. They come on first thing in the morning and then they go off at night, about 14 hours of light time. This is a shop light 
or fixture with a grow light inside of it. And I've, I use these, I use regular shop lights as well as true grow lights. But for seed starting, I focus more on these very long shop light formats. We'll get these seeds started and we will have onion in this upcoming garden season. So after starting these onion, our next area of starting of seeds will probably be our brassicas. So stay tuned for a brassica video coming up very soon. If you enjoy this video, give me a thumbs up and come along for the ride so you can see as we start all the many different vegetables for this upcoming season. Until next time, and I hope there will be a next time. Bye.